This is applied science, unit one, resistance of a wire. Now the first thing that I'm going to do for you is I'm going to set up the main part of this circuit. And the main part of the circuit consists of a power pack set on four volts. There is a meter rule with one meter of wire and we have an ammeter. So what we're going to do, remember, sorry, remember this, your risk assessment. You will have to comment on the risk assessment and make a record of all of the safety features in this circuit. Now also, the other thing to remember, yes, we know the wires are nice pretty colours, but none of the machines know the colours of the wires. The colours of the wires aren't important, it's the direction that the electricity is flowing. So, we're going to start and we're going to connect up our power pack to our meter rule. And from the other end of the meter rule, we're going to connect into here our ammeter. This says here 20A, if we zoom to that please, 20A, so we put that into there. Now if you look, you haven't got a complete circuit, there's a gap here. So what we will do is, we will go from the com, black com, from the black com, back to the power pack. And there is the circuit, a complete pathway. Now, I switch, this is already on, this isn't on however, we switch it on and what we see there is a negative number. We see a negative number. That means, in actual fact, only that the wires are the wrong way round. So all that we do is we can swap them like that. And if you look, same number but no negative now. Have we zoomed to that? Now, that's our main pathway. In order to measure resistance, we need to measure the potential difference across the circuit. And we use a voltmeter for this. Now what we will do is, and I've got the voltmeter facing you, all that we do is, we actually add a branch to our circuit. And we put the voltmeter in there, and there. Note that I'm not actually checking which side I'm putting the cables in, because when we turn on the circuit, if our voltmeter shows the wrong direction, which it has done now, I quite simply swap my wires and I get a clear reading there on the voltmeter. Now what you have to record is what number is on here and what number is on here. And you've got to do that for the three different coloured meter rules, which are three different thicknesses. Can we stop now?